So I've got my uh, profile up. As I say, keep an eye out. Just watch my stuff and um, check the updates. Um, wherever we'll kick it off, we'll have a little look at what's going on. If you have any charts you want to suggest to look at, guys, please do just put them in the chat box. Um, any chart and also any lessons about trade. doesn't matter what it is. Um, if you're, I'm just going to, um, okay, so I'm going to make, so I am recording this. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, just put it in the comments of the video and ask um, anything. But if you are live with me on the stream, just ask me in the chat box um, what you want to look at. Uh, I'm going to kick it off at this point on the dollar yen because you've got a lot of movement on there today. Okay. And you're coming up to our preferred short zone at the moment. Now, I've labeled this level for a while, and it's just because really the aim of what you want is to deal with the fact you've come up massively from here all the way up to there. Okay. We then said to short. I know lots of you who follow me saw my edits pick on that. And then you shorted all the way down and you've ended up here. You then get long, you short, and you can see the idea here. The idea is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you get this, um, you know, you get this movement, something like this. I know I've just skipped out a long way on the up move, but more to the point, in fact, what I'll do is I'll, I did actually just describe this to someone on a private video in the academy. If you just look at the way this has gone, okay, it's up, down, up, down, up, down. And that is the general trajectory that markets follow. They go up and down and up and down and up and down. So that should help you a bit anticipating the next move. Now, in regards to the dollar yen specifically, what you are having at the moment and where I would short OK, if you look just on my chart now, you can see that this chunk of PA, OK, coincides with PA here. OK, and it's likely as the markets go that if you just keep zooming out, you know, you see that here as well. And you absolutely do. So that is clearly a point of rejection. OK, and it's within that retracement of the overall down move. So what I'm describing is basically this. OK. You know, you, you've come up, you're hit away, and you're coming up again. Now, where I would prefer short is in two spots. Number one is here. Okay. Now, that short zone is slightly weaker, and therefore, my risk cannot be the same as, as always. It needs to be smaller because there is an inherently higher risk at that point. And it's likely you're going to kill that for um, early exits. Now, the risk is higher, again, because there's not a lot of margin. And what I mean by that is if the price falls, you're only going to get as far as that to start with. OK, and you've had a very choppy market before and this PA zone isn't incredibly strong. Now, the point I prefer, and again, you don't have to take that early trade. You can just, you know, sort of go for the latter one, which is what most people will do who follow me um, is at this point here, because you can see there is more significant rejection of price. And that's because that is one point and it falls away. OK, and if you look back, there's significant PA there and significant PA here. And with that as well, you know, if you pushed up even further, the chances are after another big green candle, you're more than likely that, um, you know, you'll get a market fall. But again, you're following that trajectory of the natural market move. And. I like this little tool because what you can actually do is draw various arrows like this. OK, and you can see as I'm drawing them and it's the same for gold. Um, you know, you can see the kind of pattern. All right. And that should give you some guidance on how you would like to trade this. OK, you see. Oh, so we got stuck on it a bit there, but. That is the point. All right. That's a bit dodgy. Uh, yes, there we go. That's right. So my short bias comes at key PA zones, in other words. And that's just at 1375. But I'm looking to follow that trajectory up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, because that naturally is how markets go. I just did a short video for an Academy member a minute ago. And I did it on the hourly because it was referring to this gold move. Now, as you all know, I called it short up here. OK, and then you had that fall. Now, you'll notice if you look at my updates, I called it short like this. OK, 
And again, look, I'm trading the same trajectory. All right. I'm looking for moves like this. I don't want one line. And if the market does fall in one line, that's OK, because I know inevitably it's not going to do that for every single move. Like you can see all of this. So you had the opportunity to trade all of that. This absolutely did start as one move in one go. All right. But you had the chance to trade the trajectory afterwards, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you'll notice how I've got a one hour chart here. And the reason why is because if you start to put the, the chart to the to the um, higher time frames, it gets a bit more congested and it gets far harder to see those levels. All this looks like to you and me. I mean, I know really what I'm looking for with this. But to most people, that is just a chunk of candles. OK, or more so if I draw the circle tighter perhaps with an eclipse, you can see that it's just like that. All right. So that, and even if you go on the weekly, that is why you use lower time frames. because if you go on the weekly, that is all you have to go off. It's nothing. Same with the daily. It's just inaccurate. You know, once you go down the time frames, you can see it much better and you can trade those moves up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, as it, uh, Phillips, another Academy member, Thanks for coming, Philip. Great to see you again. I'll cover the New Zealand yen. Uh, there's tons of people in here. Please do press the boost. If you want to get started with myself and actually get trading right and stop following idiots, go to this link. Okay, I go through everything logically, and I'm sure everyone who follows me knows that. I get a lot of regular guys who turn up here. You know, I get a lot of editor's picks and stuff. So some of you might have come off my editor's pick. You'll notice I called that three or four trades in one go. You would have done great if you followed it. Um, and my streams are pretty accurate. Philip, I will do the New Zealand dollar yen now. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, so, yeah, if I go to the New Zealand dollar yen, I'm going to kick it off and I'm going to go through my general approach via multi time frame analysis. So what you have here is a slightly sideways market. Great for hedging opportunities. Um, if you want to sort of mitigate any loss you had before. Again, that's a bit more in depth, but. And that's how I trade. You come down to this point. OK, so if you like, this is more or less a channel. And I am going to make that line slightly thinner. It's probably annoying people a little bit. annoys me slightly. Um, but really, once this starts to establish, your, your bias needs to be in line with that. Because markets move, as you'll know if you follow me again, they move in price channels. And that's just how they go, because you're either uptrending, downtrending, or you're going sideways. There isn't really anything in between. Um, that is the formation that you're always going to find that you have in some way or another, okay, no matter how neat it looks. So you've got a little bit of something similar there. Okay, you can see that's a downtrend. That downtrend then turns into uptrend, okay, and then that uptrend then turns into, you know, it's going to be, it should be fine to draw um, I think the eclipse does it justice better, really. But you can see that that is now uh, sideways. Um, so up, downtrend, uptrend, sideways. And again, let's look at that trajectory, okay, like this. You can see how that's up, down, up, down. That's exactly how you need to trade. So the, the point of this video is to get people to understand that that is what you need to follow. Okay, you need to follow that structure. Now, if you go down your time frames to the weekly and to the daily, you can see the um, spectrum of price or the difference in your price, your new price channel, if you like, is far, far thinner. Okay, and again, I might just use an eclipse for this because I don't like the. Yeah, I'm going to use an eclipse. Um, the 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 candles I'm referring to are like this. Okay, so. It just depends how you're trading. I mean, if you're day trading, that is going to be relevant to you. OK, if you're swing trading and I put the the, um, the chart up, you can see that I've only highlighted this. But if you're a swing trader, you're more interested in all of it and your bias for shorts might come up here. OK, so that's how it changes. The higher time frames and the different approach, you know, the wider your price targets get. And obviously for DCA as well, it's the same. You would space your trades out more. Now, in the nearest term, I wouldn't be surprised as specifically if you um, fall about here. So therefore, I like it short. 
All right, but just looking on the weekly for more accurate um, PA levels, if you do get higher, you know, and it's okay to wait for this. You can hold off and wait for that. The first um, point, like I said, short now is for uh, day traders. And it's a good idea at this point as well, just to understand that, you know, this is a much more relevant area because if you look back, there's various rejection already. And you can see that repeated here. It's no different. And because you've hit that same level a few times recently, I would drop your size on this particular trade. So if you zoom out slightly, you might start to look short around here. So that level I much prefer. If you're a scalp trader, you might short it today with a really small size. Otherwise, risk of earth zones, Philip, I would look for um, 84 area. If you get even higher, okay, I, I might DCA in 86, 9 or something like that. Okay. So that's my bias because those two levels I've, I've labeled are great for PA. Near term here, longer term there. Um, if you're extremely risk averse, you just wait till 86, 8 or so. I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you for that comment. I really appreciate that. I hope the Academy is, is helping you well. If you're not in there yet, guys, anyone who isn't, go to the link under the video or under the uh, YouTube video if you're watching it on there. Um, S&P, yes, absolutely, I can do that now. Thanks for the suggestion. So S&P, you've come up. All right, you've hit higher price action levels. You're now pulling down. I think you'll probably get jammed a bit here. All right. I would only take it scalp long for day traders there. Otherwise, I've got orders at about this point here. Okay. And it's just because I want the price to fall to a more feasible level. I have gone over this one on various streams. So if you've been here before, you probably know what I'm talking about. But that also coincides with the midpoint of the um, of this upward movement. OK, so let me just go to a higher time frame for this. If I zoom out a bit, it'll probably make a bit more sense. Um, in fact, I'm going to go on the weekly. So I like it nearer those moving averages. You can see the 20 and the 40 and you can see that this candle has very early rejection. That's why it looks really skinny. Okay, so obviously the, lo the long side bias is high there, but I really would need it to come under that previous wick into the 20 and the 40 for me to start to scale into the market. It's too high for me to get long. Okay, far too high. Because if you look at that uptrend, okay, you look at this flat uptrend, you're still high up on it. You did hit that midpoint, but nonetheless, where the price is at 4140 is just too high. Okay, the channel starts where I've just moved that red arrow down here, and you're all the way up there. Okay, it's, it's just too far. So I like it long lower. 4040 or 4050. Um, I'm gonna, I, I've got a mid size order. So under that previous candle wick. Okay. Um, thanks for the question again. But it, it seems you're the only one who's alive today. And it's probably a good idea to waken up, guys. Um, I think someone's probably going to ask about the FTSE. I've got orders in on it. Um, I like the FTSE a lot again, uh, just because where you're getting to. Um, I am referring to this PA here. I've got a semi-light position at 7780, I'll be in. Okay. At 1.2 uh, standards, I'll be in at 77780. Okay. And that'll be a very light long. Um, so, yeah, that's where my bias remains. And I've got an order set for that. It might be hit while I'm on the stream. So, I'll go off and start my day. Um, after that, I'm looking lower. Okay. I've got a slight position 7730. And then beyond that, I'm scaling in via DCA to the long side. I'm killing off shorts I had. I'm about to exit short. I got I I um I went in. I can kill that off in a minute, and I've gained swap on it as well, which is great. You should have that. Um, uh, has anyone else got any questions on here? If you do want to post them on here, or if you're watching it on YouTube, as I say, just comment. As always, I can get to you on there. That's no problem. 
So oil, um, I think what will happen is you're going to trickle a bit lower. I've called this a few times at this area. Um, around here is ideal for me. And the reason why is because you can see, and I've said I have, you know, if you're following me, again, you know, if you take the step, you get the right training, like it says under the video, at goldstreet.io, you, you know, you'll get access to these things. I've, t I've said various times, people have asked me about oil, should I buy it there? I said, no. Should I buy it there? I said, no. Should I buy it now? I'm saying no again. And you'll find if you didn't have that and you don't have the price action rules, you don't have the method which you get in here and you can start for free on, okay, then you would have bought then. You would have got it wrong, got it wrong, got it wrong. You know, starting for free is an awesome deal, okay? Starting for free with that link is is the best deal you'll get today. So I like it low and coming nearer 72, 73 area, okay? maybe a front runner at 73 and your remainder position at 72. Just look at your stochastic oscillator. Okay. You don't want to be sure you've had a fall. All right. So that's my bias on oil. Cause I think someone's going to ask me again, one last time. Let's think about this together. All right. You've got, and I just need my other one. You've got this look. Okay. Up, down, 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 down. And then there, you know, that's what you're looking for. And even if you go back, I mean, look at this. I made so many calls on it, but just get your get your head around this on this stream, guys. That is how markets move. Don't pretend they don't. OK, that means you need to exit and enter, exit and enter, exit and enter. All right. Just follow the way markets actually go. And I need to settle on a good color to make that more visible, I think. Um, Hero of the Day is also a member. Great to see you um, here. Is there a small gap from US 100 from yesterday? Switch between you say, what's the best? I don't like the gap. And if it's valid, trading gaps are proper trading gaps, actually, after all. So, um, brilliant question. And I really, I really do like this because sometimes people ask these golden things where they're methods they've seen before and they're wondering, okay, well, are they actually valid? And that's why I produce what I have because it's very different. Okay. But specifically to answer your question, all right. Um, the way you can think about this is the following. So week, weekly, I like it short. Um, in terms of a gap, uh, oh, you, I, I presume maybe you're talking about the fact that it opened lower. Okay, and you've got a move here. You know, it's if you if you tell me exactly what you what you're referring to and the exact ticker. I mean, I'm sure this is the right the right part. Um, you've got an open of one three one five five, okay, and then you've got an open of one three one four one. Um, so I mean, in terms of gap trading, all right, got it. Thank you for that. Okay, okay, thanks. So um, that's what you're referring to. You can see it gaps down now. I mean, people say, you know, it's closing the gap, blah, blah, blah. It's not something I particularly focus on. Um, so, no, not really. I mean, it's not a strategy on its own. It might actually just help a little bit, but I don't really care if the gap closes or not. All I would care about in this situation is, again, this. Now, that is a very flat trajectory. Okay, so it's not exactly the strongest. I would just hold off, use your weekly, and just look higher. You know, I like it more so around that 100 MA area. And I think similar to the dollar yen, you'll get up there. But in terms of gap trading, no, it's not particularly an interest of mine. It's just something you can use to, to basically see that the, uh, the move has recovered. But no, I don't really factor it in on its own at all, I would say. I mean, maybe some guys use it, but no, not on its own for me. Um, you need to use various other tools. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, what is the best way to identify it? Well, you can see that <laughs> you can see from the from the um, from that there's a white space in between. That's the best way to identify it. But no, I'm not looking for it to close or anything. It, 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 I'm not saying that doesn't work. I'm sure it does. Sometimes I'll use that as a factor in my my bias, but not solely on its own. Um, I, I wouldn't do that. 
So I hope that helps. Has anyone got any other questions or any other comments on that if you want to post them? I'll just touch on crypto quickly. Um, I think you probably get a scalp long there because you're tough. Again, it's a it's good technical trade. 200 MAs hit. You've got all this support here. I wouldn't be surprised if you bounce, but your risk needs to be extremely low because it's HVA and it's a low time frame. But if you put your um, time frames up, you can see the daily has hardly come down at all. It is touching on early support, but it hasn't moved a lot. Um, you would need it lower to to take it long, basically. Um, that is just too high for me. You've already come up. It's too late. You would need a significant pullback, all right, to these kind of areas, most preferably this one. Um, if you flick your weekly up, you can see that. That's the only real long-term time frame reference you've got, but it's still weak anyway. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you come into that area where I've drawn that line. But if you can trade anything else, I would probably do that. Same thing for Ethereum. Okay, it doesn't look particularly strong. I wouldn't be surprised you get something like this. It just has all these minor levels to the left, so they'll have to be broken. You can refer to this as well. Um, okay, so that answers a lot. Can we look at? I've just done Bitcoin. It needs a fall. Ord USD. Um, absolutely. Thank you for all the questions. It's really good. So Ord USD. Um, someone asked me about getting long here. Uh, sorry, long here. Um, now, the reason why I said to, I, I told the, the the trader who's in my academy as well, there's tons of academy members on at the moment. That's great. If you want to join them and be accurate like they are now, go to the link below, as I say, if you've just come in. But I told him, look, you've got a pop up here. OK, and if I just drop my time frame to the four hour, we can see this better. This is classic. And this is why you need those price action tools. This is why you need rules to trade, because this is the difference between profitable traders and non-profitable traders. That, OK, I had a trader who said, OK, well, I'm going to take it long. And I said to him, look, you need to kill that off because that is a really weak push up. And all you're doing is hitting on early price action. OK, you were just hitting into these levels. So there's no margin. As I said, there's no margin. Um, and I hope he took it. Um, so I hope he did. But the point is, it's it's really weak. You come up to these early moving averages and you fall away straight away. That is a strong downside sentiment for the odd, upside sentiment for the dollar. Now, secondly, even if you did buy here, it's a really weak PA level because the previous pushes are tiny. All right. And look at that. There's no downside you know, at the bottom of the candle, there isn't really much rejection. So it's just a poor long zone. Now, you can see there's a very strong red candle coming down. I think what will happen is you'll get to this point and you'll probably get another bump. I would only trade it lightly at that point. And if you can, perhaps even just stay off until 0.649. If you don't want to trade it to the long side, just let it move up if it does. And I like it short more so at 0.67. Again, we're trading that trajectory up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So those are my zones for all dollar. I hope that makes sense. There's even more people coming in here. If you can press the boost, guys, press it now if you can. Um, it really helps me out. Thank you. And if you are coming in, as always, you know, just drop a question in here. Press the boost, press it now, and then just type something in. You know, whatever you want to know, type it in because I can go over it. You know, there isn't a time when I trade where I hesitate about what I'm saying. Um, I just don't do it. Uh, as for the euro order, I will update this on my post. Uh, I did say I think you'll only get around there. I said that yesterday and I told everyone to kill it off. So hopefully you're out and you got several gains. Um, I think perhaps what will happen is you'll beat that previous high. And I prefer it short, um, higher up, about 168 um seven i would say more so 168 bit over 168 to 169 is probably your next dca zone but the fact that you're just rallying so high again you don't have very strong pa to the left hand side it's it's more or less a scalpers market with the current sentiment but i just wouldn't buy it let it let it move up okay and then trade it if it does have a harsh move down re-enter and trade it in stages, as I say, but you would need a significant something like that. All right. 
And eventually, you know, mark my words, it's not financial advice, it's my opinion, but you will come down, okay? This will fall. It's it's too high. <laughs> look at your stochastic oscillator and ask yourself, does that look too high to me? What happens when the stochastic oscillator comes up before? Not every time, but many times. All right, so that's pending a fall because you've come from here. You come all the way from here. It's an enormous way. And you've seen that trajectory. You've seen this up, down, up, down. And hopefully you traded it that way. And eventually it's going to have to go like this. And then like that. And then like that. And then like this. And then maybe, you know, it's it's not going to be a straight line. It has to follow that up, down movement. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Is there any questions? We're coming up to half an hour. There's no further questions about anything. I'm going to close. Um, we've gone over absolutely tons today, and I hope I probably should think when I come off here, a bunch of people have come into the academy and got started for free by that link, um, which is fantastic. Um, I will probably post another video today. As I said, I've got an editor's pick there that's on there at the moment. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch it. Um, if you want to like, share, comment, and just a note as well to the guys in my Discord, um, don't get scammed. All right, there's some guys going around pretending to be me. Just don't, if anyone contacts you, just don't reply, all right, because they'll be having you on. Um, as a final word as well, Silver, um, you're hitting on early PA, early support. I think you'll probably get slightly higher and then come back a bit more for anyone who's following my Silver post. Uh, but apart from that, I think that probably covers it. Again, for the last time, please do press the boost. Press this link and get started with myself. If, you, you know, you're, if you're not having trading success, okay, if you're not making money trading or if you're losing a lot, it is far better to come and get the tools than sit and lose money and have no idea what you're doing. I've traded for a long time. I do streams every day. You know, I do whiteboard demos. I trade every day myself. Go to the link. Get yourself on board. Okay, Don't waste any more time. It's under the video and just get started. And as always, if you want to come and chat with me, go in the Discord. All right? Hero of the Day sent me 100 coins. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, I hope that really helps. Obviously, it helps Hero of the Day. He's an Academy member. Uh, there's tons of Academy members here. If you want to start, be like them. Okay? I hope that I, I can probably tell from those coins that I've changed uh, this individual's trading. I hope I have, and I hope I continue to do so. And, of course, ask me any questions you want, guys. Um, you know, I'll take care of you. So thanks for coming. This will be on YouTube. Uh, do keep an eye on my profile and I hope to see you in the Academy soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks, guys.